In my last video, I show you how you can organize uh, virtual instruments that you bought or got from somebody, uh, how you can organize them in uh, contact, native instrument contact. Now, in this video, I will uh, present my, my, one of my instruments that I created and I'm offering that instrument to you. So, first, let me show you how it looks. And then, if you want to have that instrument, please, con please contact me through my Facebook. You will find information here on YouTube channel. Let me start contact. Okay. Now, that instrument is here. It's already organized. I put it already here. And now I'm going to start that instrument. You'll see in video how you can organize those instruments and have them here in this location. Quick load. And I'm going to call that instrument. So I'm going to move this now down just to show you how it looks. Now, I will close this as well. I want to have everything clean here to show you how it looks. First, let me see uh, something in uh, Cubase. I'm going through Cubase because of OBS recording. Now, let us see, does it work? So, uh, let me play something. So, you cannot hear any voice because you have to engage a register to hear voice. You can engage it on two ways, by pressing C1 note or just by pressing register here. If I press it here now, so it's too loud. No, oh, let me, in my headphones, it's too loud. So that is basson. Now you can change register here. Or you can change it on the keyboard because I have dedicated keyboard for changing re register. C1, basson, then C sharp, accordion, then D uh, uh, sharp, uh, okay, actually D, bandeon, harmonium, and so go by any note, next note, for example, A, it is going to call sopran, piccolo, and last one is master. So 12 registers, 12 semi notes. If you are starting from C1, and you are moving, you can see that I'm changing registers. That is how you can change registers. So if you are if you are playing, uh, if you are recording something, when you record, you have to record as well that register change. Press it, play something, and during performing, you can make uh, you can change registers, and everything is going to happen if you are listening in in your recording later, because you are going to record register change, register change, and you are going to record performing as well. So you can just start to play. So by the time you are playing, you can re record uh, all those register changes as well. Now, beside our register here, you have here control for effects. This is time for delay. This is um, feedback. This is reverb. When you are creating song, you want to have those effects. If you want to keep them, if you like them, you can keep them. If you don't like them, you can use your plugins and you can put this everything on zero. There is no effect, no anything. Now, if you save it with song, it will not be saved. And um, actually, it will be saved. Sorry, uh, the phone is disturbing me. Somebody is calling me. I have to remove that phone just to don't look it. So when you start to perform song, to make song, you will use effects to get inspiration in performing. And after that, you can put those effects down and you can use your VST effects. And when you save that, everything is going to be saved with your project. So 
If you save with FX, you will hear FX. If you save without FX, you will, you will not be able to uh, listen to the FX. Now let us try delay. First delay, I will put, leave it up. So now this is speed of delay. This is speed. And then feedback. And if you need reverb, you will add reverb. So that is about that. Now let us move to next function. Change velocity. You can change velocity of your performing feeling when you are pressing keys. That is velocity. So you can uh, choose velocity curve, random change, maximum, minimum uh, uh, velocity. So everything is here for con to control velocity. And then intervals. If you want to have some intervals, upper, lower intervals, in any key, type of the key, and you can control balance between main sound and that interval. You can control volume. So, for example, if I want to have C major, that is key, C major, that is scale is major, you can choose scale, it says scale, and then interval plus 3, you will get upper 3, that is upper 3, C major, and now you can control volume for that upper sound. And now we can add a little bit of reverb to everything. And now we can add a little bit delay to everything. So. Oh, you have to. I'm, I did change now scale. So whenever you want to use interval, you have to decide which scale is that. So, and you have to decide which interval you're using. For example, if I want to use harmonic minor, A minor, let us say A interval major minor, harmonic minor. So, you can do that. That is accordion that I made 12 registers with possibility to control intervals and with possibility to control uh, velocity and FX. If you like that accordion, please contact me uh, through Facebook. You'll find information about contact, how you can contact me, and uh, I, I can give you that for accordion. I am offering to sell that accordion to you. Or if you need any another instrument, that I have. You will see a couple of next instruments in next videos that you can buy from me. If you like them, you can contact me and you can buy them from me. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in my next video.